Sparky Channel Productions. Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to be cleaning out a mainline sewer drain for a house. The first thing you need to do is glove up. Get some exam gloves and then put a good pair of leather gloves over that. Also, be sure and wear eye protection. And don't wear any loose clothing. Now we're going to be uh, taking the top off of the clean out. Clean outs are oftentimes found in the front yard. You're fortunate if there is one there because it's a, a good way to clean out your mainline drains. Notice there's some water oozing out of this. I've just loosened it a little bit and the water's oozing out. I just opened it a little more and I oozing out some more. What I'm doing is I'm taking the pressure off it. I'm uh, just loosening. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, so that's what a mainline. Uh, sewer blockage looks like it can't get through to the street the uh, clog is between this drain and the street that's where I have to do my work that's how you know where to uh, clear out the drain here is my snake this is a Marco snake it's 26 years old there is 50 feet of 5 8 inch cable on the spool on the snake there's also 50 feet of loose cable it's a uh, 5 8 inch and it matches now this clog I believe is beyond 50 feet so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the loose cable first and I'm just gonna put that in by hand and then I'll snap uh, this um, sewer cable to the sewer cable that's on the machine. I have selected today a two and a half inch bit. I have a whole box of different bits and this is the, I thought, the best one for the job. Okay, as I said, I'm going to take and put the first 50 feet in by hand. I just go kind of slow because there's a lot of water in there. You see, it's just going down the drain pipe. There's, in this particular case, there's no need to put it in with the machine. I certainly could if needed. I could, I could put in 50 feet with the machine, then snap it together and put in another 50 feet with the machine. But this is faster and easier this way. It's just a, a little idiosyncrasy I have with, with my equipment. I can do this and it, it speeds things up. So I'm just uh, putting the 5 8 inch sewer snake cable down the drain. You see it's, it's uh, full of water. Uh, you'll know when you unclog the drain because that water all goes down. And you'll hear a, a gurgling sound. That's a good sound to hear. That means you, you've done your job. You've unclog that mainline drain. So I'm just putting it down. Just working it down in there. I haven't hit any clog yet. If I do hit a clog, it'll it'd be bad because I, I would have to take this all out and, and and put it on the machine. But I I just with the configuration of the house and how far it is to the street and so forth. I really uh, suspected that it was the blockage was farther than 50 feet. So I elected to just go ahead and put the first 50 feet in by hand. Okay, I've just about got it all in now. And what I'm going to be doing now is snapping the, the two cables together. You need to do a good job of snapping cables together. If indeed you do have to snap cables together, you need to hear a good positive click. Now I'll be using the machine to work the snake down into the drain from now on. And it's got a foot pedal. You step on this foot pedal, that's, that's how my machine works. So I'm stepping on the foot pedal right now and here we go. So now we're, we're going to be going down the drain with the machine. Okay, so see it it works its way down there real nicely. Just go a little 
little at a time and let it let it do its thing. And it's starting to hit a clock. See? It's not going down so easily all of a sudden. Yeah, there's the clock right there. Look at that. All of a sudden it's very difficult to get that snake down the drain line. So here we go. I'm just letting it letting it work. This is going in a clockwise manner. It's uh, it's hitting the clock right now. So I'm working it. You put a little bit of force. Uh, you don't want to force it too hard. You don't want to kink your your snake. But still, you gotta you gotta let it work. You gotta have a little little bit of patience sometimes. You'll see when the water goes down. Now you see the stop water starting to go down a little bit. See, see this bubble there? See the bubble a little bit? You're getting some action. There, now, now it's down about an inch. Okay, it's it's going. I'm holding on there. The water level is down about an inch now. That's a good sign. That's a sign you get before the whole thing goes down. So you want to see that. Just just let it keep going. Don't get frustrated. Don't force it. Just just let it work. Here it goes. Okay, you're down a good inch now. You got, you got a good machine. You got a good snake. Yeah, have faith in it. And here it goes. As you're down. Okay, you're, you're making progress. You, you Don't get frustrated if you're at this point. Here we go. Just let it work. Let it work. Let it work. This is what the mainline drain thing is all about right here. It just separates the... There it goes. There it goes. That's it. It just gurgled down. That's it. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay. So now, go beyond the clock. Keep going. Don't just be satisfied with that. Uh, clean it out some, uh, farther. Put, put, you know, go another uh, 20 feet. Go beyond it. Uh, you can go just as far as you want to go. You can put all your snake in there. It's a good idea. So, there it is. It's, it's down. Just let it run for a while. It'll, it'll just help clean everything out. You just let it run. Okay, now I'm going to pour some water down it. And full force of the hose. Just let it go. This is uh, a test for one thing. But also you clean it off your snake. You can't even see the, the water on the bottom. It's, it's down so far. So, I'm going to pull it back out and put it back in the machine. And I'm looking for my joint when I do this. Um, where I snap the, the two lines together because I'll be taking it apart again. All right, now I'm going to clean off the, the snake some more. Uh, the snake was pretty darn dirty after doing this job. I cleaned it several times, actually. So you just, just keep cleaning it and keep pulling it out. There we go. Just load up the spool some more. Do it as clean as you can. Uh, dry it off a little bit and um, use some WD-40 on it. Okay, here is the joint right here where I snapped it together. And okay, there it goes. I just snapped it apart. There we go. I'm going to pull my loose cable out now. I'm going to take it out and we'll clean it really good. It's actually faster to pull it out like this than to load up a spool. Oh, you see all the crud coming out that is attached to the, to the snake here. Okay, there's a... I think it's like the blue paper towels that mechanics use. There's a big wad of it right there. And there's a giant wad of it right there on my bit. Big giant wad of the 
uh, blue paper towels. Those are the heavy duty paper towels that mechanics use. All right, once you got uh, the snake out, uh, run water through it again, uh, full force, just to help clean it out and to double check, uh, make sure you're, you've done a good job. Okay, once you uh, get your snake out, uh, clean it real well. Do a good job of cleaning it up. Uh, let it dry, spray it with some WD-40, and it'll be all ready for the next job. Okay, put the snake back on the truck and go on. <laughs> I'll put links in my video description for drain cleaning machines that would be really good for this kind of job and that would be the rigid K50 sectional drain cleaning machine the rigid K1500 series of sectional drain cleaning machines the new Milwaukee cordless sectional drain cleaning machine and I'll put links for smaller drain cleaners such as the rigid K30 sink cleaning machine thanks I hope this video was helpful there it goes, there it goes.